welcome to your maths video for Tuesday the 30th of June. Today we're going to have a look at tallying the time. So in your packs you've got a clock where you've got to fill in the missing numbers. Now this is your normal everyday clock you might have in your house. It's a 12 hour clock. So you're going to start with filling in the numbers within the inside of the clock that you see. So at the top we know we have 12. It's a 12 hour clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now yesterday you were reminded that there are 24 hours in a day. So the hands travel around this clock twice within one day. Okay? Now here there's a long hand, I'll shade it in, so the longer hand on a clock is your minute hand, okay? And we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour, so this long minute hand travels around the clock once within an hour. So each of the numbers then represent five minutes. So when you're filling in your numbers around the outside of the clock, we've got o'clock, and that's when the minute hand is pointing at 12. We've then got five past, and that's at one. Ten past. Okay, we've got quarter past, and that would be 15. So it represents five minutes. So we're just counting in five. So five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. And when we reach 30, it's half past because that minute hand has travelled halfway around the clock. Okay? When we get to the 6 then, we know it's half past. When we move on to the 7, it changes to 2. So I'm just going to get a coloured line and I'm just going to put it down the middle of my clock. I'll move it over slightly so it's a bit more in the middle. Oh, it's wrong one. Okie dokie. So, on this side, we've got past. It's past the hour. And on this side, we've got two. Okay. So we've got 30 there, if we're counting in five, the next number will be 35. But that means it's 25 too, because it's 5, 10, 15, 20. 25 minutes until the next hour. So it's, that represents 35. So it's 35 minutes past the hour. But we say it as 25 too. Okay, so... We've got 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now, this missing number here, it says how many minutes to o'clock. So let's count. We're on the 8. How many minutes until o'clock? So it'd be 5, 10, 15, or it'd be 22. Okay, again. 30, 35, 40, 45. And that's already written in for you. It's quarter to because it's 5, 10, 15 minutes until o'clock, and we say that is quarter to because if you look, we did our fractions last week. If we split our clock into quarters, okay, at the three, it's quarter past. Then once it's travelled all the way around there, it's then half past because we've gone halfway around. And then again, we've got three quarters, and it's a quarter left until the hour, so it's quarter two. Got lots of drawings on the clock, I'm sure it does, it's very busy. Okay, so 45 would be quarter two, then we go to 50, and that's five, 10, 10 minutes until the next hour, so it's 10 to 55, which is five minutes until the next hour. Okay, so we need to remember then, that each number represents five minutes when we're thinking about the minute hand, the long one. The shorter hand then 
tells us what hour of the day it is. So we've got the big hand pointing to o'clock. I'll draw it back here. It's there, Luke. And we've got the little hand pointing to four. So we know it's four o'clock. Okay, so if you're doing the mild version today, you're going to focus on o'clock and half past. So, like I've just said, when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, we know it's o'clock. Okay, I'll write that there, o'clock. So we've got the minute hand pointing to the 12, the hour hand pointing to the 8, so it's 8 o'clock. On this one then, again, he's pointing to the top, the long mini hand is going to the 12, so it's o'clock, and we can see it's pointing to the 10, so it would be 10 o'clock. Let's have a look at half past then. So, like I said before, half past is where the mini hand has travelled halfway around the clock, so it will be pointing, the long hand will be pointing at the six. So here again, it's gone halfway around the clock and the long hand is at the six. So, I know it's half past, let's see what it's half past of. Okay, so, I've got half past, okay, now, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's between the five and the six. I can see it's in the middle. So it's not quite six o'clock yet. It's half past five. Okay, it's not pointing directly at the five because it's past five o'clock. It's halfway in the middle because it's halfway between five o'clock and six o'clock. So it's half past five. A different way we could write that is five. Okay, and then it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so it's 5, 30. That's a digital way of writing it. Okay, again, I know I've got a half past. My long mini hand is pointing to the 6. So it's half past. Let's have a look. So the hour hand is in between, halfway between the 1 and the 2. Okay, it's not quite 2 o'clock yet. But we've gone past one, so it's half past one. Okay, so you've got to fill in the missing numbers on your sheets. Let's move on then. So a lot of you, I think all of you actually, have got this on your pages to help you. Okay, so it's like what we did on the first slide, where we were labelling the clock, so it will tell you whether it's five past or 22. Okay, so it'll tell you what you what each number represents. Use that today to help you. Okay, so I'm going to look at the mini hand first, the long mini hand. Here it's pointing to the three. Well, if I count, so I'll start at 12. Okay, if I count 5, 10, 15. I know that the three represents 15, but we wouldn't say 15 past. Let's look at our clock to help us. It's gone a quarter away around the clock, so it's quarter past. Okay, so underneath I would write quarter past. Let's have a look at the hour and the shorter one. Now it's between the seven and the eight. Okay, so it's quarter past. Seven. We haven't reached the eight yet, so it's quarter past seven. Let's look at the next one. Okay, the long mini hand is at the nine. So I know that to be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Now remember when we were on the first slide and we looked at our clocks, if the mini hand is this side of the clock, is it on, if it's on the left, we know it's two. So I'm not going to say past anymore, I'm going to say two. Okay, use the clock to help you. It's on the nine, so it's quarter two. So that means, if you look there, we've got a quarter of the clock left until
until we've reached o'clock. So it's quarter to. Okay, write that on. It's quarter to. Now, it's in between the one and it's nearly at the two. Now we've gone past one o'clock, so it can't be quarter to one. It's nearly two o'clock, so it's quarter to two. Okay, so we go to the next one, the one it's nearly at when we're looking at two. Right, we'll do two more clocks and then it's up to you. Remember, use this to help you. So I'm looking at the mini tan first. It's pointing at the ten. Okay, well, let's just check when it's at the ten. It's ten two because I've got five, ten minutes until o'clock. So I've got ten two. Okay, my hour hand is nearly at the nine. So we've gone past eight o'clock and it's nearly nine o'clock. So it's ten minutes to nine. So ten to nine. Okay, on this one then, my long minute hand is pointing at the five. And I know if I'm on the right side of the clock, it's past. You can draw that on each clock if it helps you. And I'm using this one to help me at the five, it's 25 past. Okay, so I'm going to write 25 past. Okay, look at my short hour hand. Oh, it's 25 past nine. We're not at 10 o'clock yet. We've gone, it's in between because we've gone past nine o'clock. Okay, so it's 25 past nine. So you're going to fill in the missing times on your clock. Make sure you use that to help you and I'm sure you'll do great.